This video is going to be the first in a series of videos where I take a, a, a CIP system and I describe it and effectively then I build it in Delta V from scratch. Um, so the idea uh, here is that I will cover the overview of the CIP system and in terms of what would be needed in order to actually go and, and kind of create it as if you're kind of looking at a kind of a handover pack as such that would be provided to um, some form of a, of a developer. And, uh, and basically then we look at a, a document where you effectively look at the, the the type of functional requirement that would be specified out by a process engineer and uh, effectively how you turn that into phases and logic and 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 so on right so um in the background here i have um delta v open and basically this is a a, a screen um that has just been kind of put together um quite quickly and it's it's based upon an actual p and id so here I have a, a P and ID where basically I have a, a tank that will actually have a mixture, have a wash as such um, put together. And then we have two different kinds of ingredients. You just have caustic and acid and you can have different forms of detergents and different mixes and, and, and so on that are there. And essentially the idea here in this tank is that it's actually going to wash this particular mixer tank here. And that's uh, something that's kind of on a, on a separate screen. So once the mixture has occurred, uh, basically the uh, a wash is going to be put together and then effectively it's going to um, have its mixture or its wash as such a uh, pumped all the way out. And if I just kind of zoom in, um, what I'll be able to see then is uh, we effectively go out to a particular, the mixer tank uh, P and ID. And this is effectively a case here where we basically are coming from uh, the CIP tank, sorry, um, basically over here. So if I go back to uh, the Delta V then, I, what I can do then is I can just go off and I can take a look at this uh, particular mixer tank and basically you can see um, that we have um, the, the, the mixing actually kind of occurring and then effectively it heads off to a transfer phase. So I'm going to add and integrate in actual flags that are coming from the CIP system. Um, into it, right, and and that's that's uh, that that's basically it. So if I just go back to my CIP tank, and just basically keep him uh, open, um, it's going to be a case where I'm going to actually be able to have individual phases that can be run uh, from something called PLM, and then basically I'm going to have a, an option then to be able to actually execute the CIP from the batch executive, right? So um, effectively, if I go into the background, I'll just kind of give an overview first, and then the next video, I'll actually go and I'll kind of start creating, um, you know, kind of graphics and, and, and so on. So effectively, uh, when you're looking at your p and ID, you will uh, essentially have um, all of these different labels which should have been provided, right? And all of these different instruments and so on, um, they'll all cover the, uh, the P and ID. And when you actually kind of look at an actual individual system, that in itself uh, has to be recreated um, uh, in what's called the, the Delta V Explorer. So when you're in the Delta V Explorer itself, you will be able to kind of uh, come in and you, you'll see effectively like these areas and so on, um, which are which are kind of uh, placed in. Now, a lot of this is down to the, the concept of ISA 88 and kind of, you know, how strictly you kind of want to look at the, the kind of the logic of it, right? But basically what we have here is we have a particular tank, we have tank six, and then we have all of these effectively control modules. And these are all based on the, uh, the instruments that I kind of spoke of there um, earlier. So, if I go and if I take a look here at all of the different instrument IDs, uh, when we go all the way down through them and it's like the names of pumps and, and, and so on, that should effectively all be uh, represented um, in the Delta V Explorer underneath, um, I suppose, an assignment uh, to an individual piece of equipment where that piece of equipment is relevant. And what I will be doing here is taking a look at this tank one and then we'll be placing all of the relevant instruments here that are actually a part um, of the system, you know, uh, within within reason, you know, and uh, we'll be able to kind of go in and take a look at the, the kind of the, the inner workings um, uh, basically uh, behind them. So 
effectively uh, when you're describing something when you're describing areas and so on do you know what i mean when someone is kind of uh, trying to trying to put uh, areas together or systems together and then you get the different kind of control modules which come underneath them and you're basically looking at what is you know effectively down as like being this like equipment module you will go back and you'll originally kind of look for something like say like this where you have effectively like say a floor plan and this is just a kind of very simplified floor plan and we have like say this clean room and here we have a mixer system and here we have say a cip system and then there's like say utilities and so on and you you effectively want to be able to look at something where you can go right we know that there's connecting pipe work and so on but the system you know what i mean can be literally seen as having a certain zone and having a certain number of io uh, basically attached so we have to kind of start um, effectively at that and if I just want to kind of uh, run back through again uh, where we were the concept here is that we have this separate system where we have a mixer tank the mixer tank does its individual operation but what we have then is after he's done his operation we're going to purely be looking at two different things that we can call from the batch executive one is where the actual CIP tank actually comes around and then it basically cleans itself so these two particular valves here they stay closed and then what we have then is a heat exchanger that's here and basically we have a flow meters um, we have a flow meter we've got a pressure uh, sensor we have a temperature sensor up here and effectively the tank wants to be able to recirculate to clean himself and then what we want to be able to do then is have this particular valve here closed and then what we do is we can add certain um, uh, ingredients to the to the wash and basically then we will be able to monitor from our delta v program we'll be able to monitor this particular guy actually kind of go through so uh, that will be the end of this video in the next one uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to open up um basically uh, the delta v kind of operate configure and i'm going to actually start creating a screen and uh, i'm going to link it back uh, two items that are actually created here in the in the in basically the CIP tank. Thank you very much.